Welcome everyone. I'm beginning with an underpainting technique using an alcohol wash and I'll start with a dark gray and dark greens to the background of the painting. I'm using a UART sanded paper which holds a lot of layers of color to the paper. I can achieve a very dark background and still be able to apply several layers of pastel colors on top. I use a 91% isotopal alcohol to dissolve and, and blend the colors on the surface. The reason I use alcohol is because it dries very quickly. I'm applying a dark greenish blue to the uh, bottom background of the surface where the water uh, will be. Some of this color will filter through as I add uh, pastel colors on top. I'm going to begin by adding a tree landscape to the background. At this stage I will be just roughing in areas and building layers and colors that will indicate the look of trees and bushes. I would like to complete the entire background before I start working on the uh, details of the egret. I'm drawing the background uh, quite loosely at this point so once I'm satisfied with the results, then I will zoom in a little closer as I start on the egret. I'm going to start adding some dark green to the water area. The water will be reflecting the color of the trees, so I will begin blending some of those colors, then add lighter shades of green reflections. I will use light yellow for the uh, lightest areas in the reflections. Now I can start adding the uh, egret's legs and begin developing the rocks that the egret is standing on. Now that I can see the, the entire uh, picture, I'm going to make some modifications to the tree line in the background. I wasn't really happy with um, the bushes and trees over the water, so um, 
I'm going to change this area. This is one reason I really love pastels. You can easily change and redevelop an area better than other art mediums. Now that the water and the grasses are nearly done, I'm going to begin focusing on the egret. I will primarily use my pastel pencils to draw the details of the egret. I will use my pastel sticks in larger areas that need to be blocked in. I will be using a free reference photo from Paint My Photo that you can see here in my tablet. I really like using my tablet because I can see the colors and details more vividly than using a print. I will start with some light gray to define some of the shadowed areas. I will also use some light blue and some slate blue to create some darker values uh, in the neckline of the egret.
I will finish the details uh, around the egret's head and gradually um, add more details and define the feathers in the body of the egret. I will only use white as the top layer where the sun is shining on the feathers. In addition to using light blue, I'm also using some light violet in the chest feathers uh, where some of the light shadows are being cast. When I add some white highlights to the feathers, you can see how the white stands out against the soft blue and violets.
There are several species of egrets, and the great egret is known for its black legs and feet. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to sharing more with you in the future. If you liked it, please uh, press like and subscribe and see you next time.